Okay, we're back and we're gonna keep climbing up this massive mountain. But yeah, we're gonna get Jack to take Shaman. And then go towards the back so he doesn't get too tired. Though now, this time, we don't have the uh, stone. And if you look at everyone's um, status, we've actually over maxed out. So that's what carrying the commitment stone does. And generally, if you can get the stone to the next one, it's worth it. Just because that's a huge bonus. And so we'll get Liam to it. Very tough question. You can see everything starting to die out as we get higher. You can see we're way, way above where we were. again pretty fine. We'll actually just get Sarah to swap with uh, the doctor because again if someone is recovering stamina and they're at 100% then they're wasting, you're wasting recovery time. We'll just swap those two. I love the music for this one too. This is interesting because they killed all the aliens to, as a preemptive measure against them, but there's actually no aliens in Xenolifer that you ever see, so whether or not they're a purely human organization or not is never really explicitly spelt out. And this is the other big development that's happened since the game started as well. So, because they killed off a lot of, a lot of the aliens, they now had to enslave other humans. And the slavery of your children as well. Again, this does sound like it could happen if, if it, like, the I know it's fantasy setting, but I, c I can totally believe that this could be an argument for that. So it's gone very 1984.
again could be referring to alternate timelines but this is also happening like the one we just saw previously with Donald and Sarah staying married Okay, so again, we're down to one shot. I turned off his gun because um, he's a terrible shot. Um, and it's not too bad if you get hit by those things. Um, but now you can see the igniter battery's going down. And we'll actually just get her to reload her weapon. And that drains the battery. Okay. Now, you might notice we're doing pretty, we're doing really well at the moment. Just because of um, uh, the uh, commitment stone giving us that huge boost. I'm gonna get Sarah to leave for a while. Get him to take the battery. Actually, no, he's probably the coldest. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> That's not what I intend to do. Okay, so he'll get warmer now. Donald should be very warm. Yep, he needs to recover. Jack's machine still. Yeah, Liam needs to get a bit of warm back, but he's not too bad. Tara. Now I'll get the doctor to lead a bit. <laughs> it's funny that that's what it will take, but I'm pretty sure he's felt sorry for them for a long time. Yeah, or that you deliberately say, don't feed someone because they're really annoying and then abuse them for manual labour and hope they run away so you don't have to feed them. That right, Doctor. Massive freezing mountain, dragging another human behind him. It's crazy. Yeah, it's not really. Just, I mean, just saying. too much about the firing animation. Okay, so he's getting probably a bit cold, so he's going to take the igniter and go in the middle. Donald's going to lead. There is an achievement, by the way, for having Don lead the most out of anyone. Close to a break. Donald on, by the way. Uh, he's, 
he, he will need a break soon, but just hopefully these guys will recover a tiny bit. Next shrine. Okay, so again, this does sound like a trap, doesn't it? And in a game like this, um, you would immediately think that there's something dodgy going on here. Um, there kind of is, and we'll get to that later, but it's not important. We're going to transport them to the peak. Now, the bigger question is, why don't they just transport everyone to the peak? 
Anyway, it doesn't matter. Like I said, the Open Hoon are a, a big bunch of dicks. Even if they are, like, you know, nice pacifist, time lord kind of things. Yeah, getting pretty close now. Into the clouds. Okay, so now we have a big advantage that Jack can lead properly. Um, so, we're going to go back to our original-ish formation. Okay, so he's leading and he only loses 7% stamina, which is crazy. So he's losing 18% and he's second in place. He's also... Jack's just amazing. Okay, now... Yeah, everyone's still fantastic. Also, getting the Commitment Stone means that you are now capped at 110, so that's good. But the only thing we really need to watch out for is Sarah's wall within about... Oh, never mind, it's fine, let's just go. So Jack just got hit there, which means he takes a massive hit to his um, his warmth. Uh, where is he? Okay, so he's down to 28 warmth, and you can see everyone else. I'm pretty sure it takes off 50, but I'm not certain about that. However, this is pretty easy to fix. You just give them the igniter for one turn, and that will recover the 50% back. Um, that will to lead.
one hit. Hope he doesn't get hit again. Should be fine. Okay, oh and by the way, if you do want to know um, Shaman and Liam's origin story, then you can read the Gods Will Be Watching comic book. I read it this morning and it's shit. I was actually really, really disappointed with it. I thought it was going to be kind of interesting, but no, just nothing the whole time. Let's check out how everyone's going. He's probably almost dead from heat. Oh no, he's 50%, so he's fine. But he will need a break soon. Liam's doing fair, but doing okay. She's the best shot, so you want her to have that. Um, and he should be fine. Who's cold? Uh, yeah. He goes last. Sarah goes third. And Sarah also takes the thing. You can also swap the guns around, um, but it's not so important. Sarah's usually pretty on point with firing. That's okay, she's carrying the thing. Just kind of designed out there for a second. Um, okay, the dog's recovering. Donald, where's Donald? Donald's doing fine. Donald's gonna take the battery. Okay, second last run, almost there. Yeah, now you realize why keeping Shaman may have been a good idea. We figured it out. I can just see all the names there. Alright, so, yeah, you may, you may have noticed a distinct lack so far of dick moves in this chapter, so this is it. This sacrifices um, whoever you pick in order to restore warmth to everyone else. And obviously we're not going to do that because we know what's happening, but if you, it, it's, just, it's just basically a huge trap because you send Charmin because he's a burden, and then you pick whichever one, you know, because it's telling you to pick someone. And, you know, they, they get sacrificed. Again, hope Mahuna dicks. Yes, that's the sensible option. Okay. 
Okay. Now, don't look too literally into what's going on here. It's, um... We're not actually climbing into space. It's not that high. Okay, now, as you get higher and higher, it's really only too bad with the last bit. Um, there's a big, big change in how much stamina you lose and all the warmth and things like that. Um, so... How is everyone doing? Okay, so Liam's... Okay, Jack's a bit cold, so we'll get him to take the battery. Turns it should be. Okay, terrible hands. Talking to himself. Jack should be warm enough now. Who else needs it? Hey, Liam needs it before too long, but I'll give him another turn. You can take the battery and go back to the middle. And, and the battery's at 61, so I'm going to get him to start using his weapon again, even though he is pretty bad. Actually, no, I'll get Jack to use it. He's got, he's got the um, gun that uh, Paul's been carrying. Have a look at it. So they have the same accuracy level there. So we shouldn't ever miss. And it shouldn't be a problem because we've got about half the battery left. Do you have to set it for him? Okay. Let's get going. So everyone just slouched a bit there. Now we do have, we, I'm not having any trouble at the moment because um, we do have a whole bunch of inject boosts. Oh, you can also leave them behind if you want to. I don't think I mentioned that before. Um, how are we doing? Okay, Jack's okay. Let's just leave 10% around. He's alright. Um, okay, uh, Doctor needs some warmth. Yeah, he can, he's been slashing along. I should have moved him earlier. I'll get Sarah to lead for one. Now this, depending on how you interpret it, this comment could be seen as a little bit meta. So just have a think about that. So Donald's recovering, he's the only one with any kind of danger statistics there. He only gets six back, which is bad. Okay, let's keep going.
close. Oh, pretty close. About four more turns, so we should be okay. Okay, some status. How's the dog doing? McDonald's is recovering stamina. Uh, Liam probably could do with a bit more. Everyone's warm enough. Got to be so careful with these last couple of turns, just because it can go very badly very quickly. How's Jack? Okay, we'll get Jack to take the ignore one though. Give Sarah a rest. Okay, so the doc's doing okay here still. Jack, Jack's crazy. By the way, he is referencing in-game achievements with this, so again, think of that what you will. So yeah, he just hallucinated through the fourth wall there. And now again, uh, this is replaced with your Steam name every time it changes. So I almost doxed myself when I tried recording it before. Alright, now I'm pretty sure this should be the last turn. Oh, two more turns. Now Donald's looking pretty good though. How's everyone going? Uh, team status. Anyone cold? Donald's a bit cold. Um... Liam's tired, the doctor's tired, so we're just going to give him shots, just because we haven't used them yet. Uh, stamina shot. He gets one. And Liam gets one. And this should be fine. So Sarah's losing very little stamina, just double check she's got enough. Jack's not going to die, is he? He should be okay. okay. 43. Yeah. Okay, done. All done. And this, Charlotte. As promised.
really did hope when I saw this the first time that he's wearing white boots and he's not like barefoot on the snow, by the way. Here we are again at the end of chapter 7 for the second time. Depending on your interpretation of what this game's about, that line will be very important to you.
So in this universe, you let this planet all die of Medusa virus. Four billion innocent people. We get to see the effect that that has on changing the universe. And I'll just say this now, but thank you very much for taking part in this um, LP. It's been a really a real pleasure to um, to share this game with a lot of people because I really do think it is fantastic, and um, and it's it's also something not many people would want to go through themselves. So. Um, I really do hope you've enjoyed it and thank you very much for participating in it. <laughs>